church of the valley, the bright and morning star, the rose of Sharon. Uh, when I now see him as the great propitiation of my sins. When I now see him uh, as behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. Uh, when I now see him as the great I am. Uh, when I now see him as the ancient of days. Uh, when I now see him as the rabbi, the master, the prophet, and the priest of my house. Uh, it means now that I'm going to stand. Uh, after having done all but to stand. Uh, Daniel came to a point and a place in his life uh, where he was standing uh, in the prophetic gap. Uh, and there's nothing like when you're standing past the Johnson and Prophet Johnson uh, and you're not necessarily standing for yourself uh, but you're standing for others around you. Uh, in other words, you got made in the shade and everything is okay uh, because your relationship with God uh, is basically intact. Uh, you know God for yourself. Uh, you understand God. You comprehend God. You articulate God. Uh, you have a definitive sense of God down on the inside of you. You have a revelation of who God is. And you don't need anyone to define God. But the problem is, you got some living liars. You got some silly ones behind you. And what you got to do in this season is you got to carry. You got to get down on them knees. Not because you got an issue, but because they got some issue. Because some of us, we got an ungrateful spirit. But we don't know who's praying for us. We don't know who's carrying for us. We don't know who's laboring. We don't know who's standing in the gap. We don't know who's lifting up holy hands and looking us down to the heels from whence coming out of hell and giving them admiration and adulation. Saying, God, if you save anybody, then save them. God, if you bless anybody, then bless them. God, if you touch anyone, then touch them. I have come by selfish means today. I came on behalf of Lulu, on behalf of your name. He's in a strange predicament of his ministry. It's strange and it's challenging to me because Daniel isn't necessarily praying for himself. His window is set towards the east. His window is set towards the holy house of Jerusalem. And if there's anyone who should be able to see God's face diligently, knowing that he's a reward of them that seek him, it should be Jerusalem. It should be the Jewish culture. It should be the Jewish race. It should be the household of God's elect. It should be Israel. But for whatever reason, Israel is in a state of this funk. And the reason that Israel is in this funk, my family in the text, is because they're dealing with Activity. They're dealing with bondage. And there's nothing like when bondage has come upon you. It means that you want to get loose. It means that you want to get free. It 